it didn't slip by, the ever watchful eye of show shuts that down. And uh, that zealot <laughs> sacrificing his life to uh, to let you know Huck know that those siege tanks are a little bit angry. And this uh, this banshee is pulling around again to the top of Liquid Huck's base. And uh, foolishly enough, Huck does not have stalkers to defend against it. He does have a cannon though, but uh, Show can just hold position on say on the like gas, like yeah, this. right there, right there. If he just yeah, there you go, hold position. Hold position. Do it. No? Yeah. Whatever. He's just going to poke. <laughs> and pulling away, getting one more kill. Still very nice harass. I like I like the no man land in this. Like, there's cliffs over here that aren't reachable by the stalkers. The banshee can just sit sort of in a little nook mm -hmm. and not take any damage. So, Hawk actively thinking, breaking those rocks in advance. And you know that that's important. Always think about your third, or, or even escape routes too. If those siege tanks come up at him, he's gonna need a way out. Mm -hmm. But you see, show here. He's thinking about his third, and he's thinking about his fourth. What he's created, this little half map, half map situation. The only two avenues to uh, communicate uh, from either side of the map are gonna be shut down by this massive siege tank, marine, Viking, and soon to be turret wall. So he's got his third going up in the bottom right, and he can really easily take that gold expansion. Not only the gold, but also I would say the uh, expo on the left, the left of his army. Mm -hmm. It's a little, a little more open. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd say the go I'd go for the gold over the uh, well, definitely, that one, definitely but. first, yes. But I mean, like you know, tic tac toe. Oh, yeah. exactly. as, as this game progresses, it's very possible. As soon as he moves up to uh, his opponent's ridge, I'll just call it the ridge area because that, that's really what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, controlling that the Zelnaga watchtowers in these maps, in these positions, like is really, really important, especially for the Terran player. And just like OGSMC from the first matchup of this series, Liquid Huck has got his damage stalker on the watchtower. So I like how the players, you know, tend to put their most like their least useful unit there. Yeah. But it's still a stalker, so it's not a probe. It's fast. It can get away. It can take some damage because of that shield. Mm -hmm. And but uh, still, there's no there's no restoring life on a damage stalker. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'd really like to see Protoss have some sort of ability that heals. Maybe I I don't know. Maybe maybe in the next like in the expansion that'll that'll come out because that could be like a really uh you know late game prospect healing up those stalkers so we got a drop coming at the bottom and the banshee's back at the top as well <laughs> more two prong yeah <laughs> banshee's unopposed but uh oh, observers ooh, here dropping in front of colossus i don't know if i agree with that and the army's gonna come in here and clean that up but he gets away with so much of it and he's yep. got it where is that banshee he's still picking up banshees up to 20 kills and two of those are stalkers now <laughs> So that Banshee is just going nuts. 21 kills. Oh, 22 God, kills. What a happy day. 23 kills. 24 what kills. A happy day. 20 25. Oh my God. Hawk has got to be kicking himself for letting that Banshee go unchecked. And the dropships are still sitting, you know, right as rain at the right side of the map. 26 kills and it gets away. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wow, show your unit control is amazing. Now he's got Dark Templar here to, uh, and very, very smartly splitting them up, not running them all in one by one. If you look at the far left, there's another drop, and it did that a far lot. Left. It did a lot of damage. Yeah, he did have DTs there, but I guess he split two up, and they, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just trying to cut off avenues of attack. But yeah, show is just really. Really busting uh, Hawk's chops here. So the, there's a DT taking shots at the little bio ball that's splitting up. I think that whole bio ball is going to go down. Yeah. 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 That was a poor loss for show. A little bit. But of a still, I mean, infantry are really disposable at this point for. It's true. For but it was and, a, it, and he's tacking on four more barracks. It was a so needless loss, though. And uh, it, it it was a one of those calculated risk things. He yeah. could. He could send it here and it do no damage, but I mean, like he's got another drop on the right side of uh, Huck's base that's doing a fair amount of damage. I guess so, if anything, it definitely got the army out of position for that yeah. drop. It just opened up avenues of attacks. Oh wow, this DT. Oh, this DT is like that Banshee. 19 kills. I didn't even see it. Bottom right corner. Very uh, nice. Show lost every single one of his SCVs to this DT. Forcing the lift on the command center too, so it can't be used to scan anymore. Very large engagement here. Um, 
He's sieging his natural. I think it's gonna go down very easily too. And uh, Hawk Hawk choosing to deal with the drop before the the real ball. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a good choice too. He doesn't want to be flanked while he's dealing with those siege tanks. Is that Banshee still alive? Yep, it's still there. Where is it? Uh, up top, very top middle. He's sitting in no man's land. Yeah, I, uh, I see the drop. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. The drop just ballsy flies over the army. <laughs> There's no stalkers there. Oh, oh there was sentry die. kill it though. But yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if Show just turns around here and like hightails it to the high ground and just like cuts. Like after doing this damage, just cut the map at the 75% mark or mm -hmm. even even. How many bases are there in this map? Yeah, I guess that would be 75%. Hmm. Always saving scan. Always having enough scan for the DTs too. I'm. He's not really calling a lot of mules. He still can't land that command center on the east, the southeast. Mm -hmm. There is an obs. It's gonna die to that turret as soon as it finishes though. Hux sees that though and he books it out of there. But it's probably gonna get scanned and yeah. it doesn't. I think that is the first obs that show hasn't just sniped. But I think it's because he sniped the DT instead. <laughs> And uh, what's Huck doing with his army? This is going to be... If he chooses to engage here, it's not going to go well. I don't think he has too much choice, though. Like, Sho's really, really pushing him into a situation he doesn't want to be in. He might, like, the the supplies are 181 to 135 in Sho's favor. And he's just got this really nice composition here against what Huck has. But, yeah. Um, the Banshee... Is in his base again. <laughs> is it really? Where is it? I don't see it. Uh, oh, there it is. By the robo base. 32 kills. No! It goes <laughs> down! <laughs> oh, it will be missed. What a hero banshee. Huck almost made up to it with his hero, hero um, Dark Templar, which has 20 kills now. Still alive, so that could, it could surpass that kill yep. count. We'll see. Tons of... like, I think uh, Huck is transitioning into mass observers. <laughs> He's so afraid of that one banshee. What if its ghost <laughs> comes back? He's like, what if it didn't really die? <laughs> you never know with these fucking Terran units. And that's yeah. Show's taking up a really nice position here. Although Huck does have a uh, a DT going to town on. Yeah. Uh, gets one tank. Short lived. Gets scanned. Still very nice poking. Although I don't really think there's much Huck can do. I think he's just gonna go for an all-in counterattack. I mean, really, those those Vikings could just fly over to his main and finish him off. Yeah. He's got no anti-air anymore. At all. And uh, Sho, just like you said, taking that gold expo. That must have been a while ago because that is nicely saturated. And here's the oh. engagement in the middle. Guardian yeah. shield, which... Uh, nice force fields, I have to admit. But those Vikings on the ground are just ripping up everything. Yeah, Sho just has too much at this point. And Liquid and, Hawk yeah. GG's. So, after taking a game from Sho in game one very commandingly, it looks like Sho shows him what he's made of and takes it back in game two. How do you feel? Pretty good. That was a, a really wicked match. Sho really showing us his, uh, his ability to sort of command the map. I think this is what he was trying to do before uh, when he got shut down by the... Uh, those gateway units was just to take map control and just to be aggressive on the map like he was in this game he he took a position on in the middle in the middle ground there you know secured his four expansions or sorry four total of four bases and and then uh attacked an expo and then immediately moved back to huck's side of the map uh at which point there was just no coming back for huck definitely and uh, a lot of hero units in this game, <laughs> like that hero Banshee. And although it had more kills than the DT, the DT can uh, can boast a little bit because he is still alive. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think uh, I think we need to make a T-shirt that says "Hero Banshee is Hero," just in honor of that specific Banshee. Because you you know I've seen Banshees in other games get that many kills, and it's really only the Banshees and the DTs that can do that much damage as like single units. Unless you're a carrier. <laughs> true, true. Carriers are pretty damn. But they're not really, you know, who harasses with a carrier these days? 
Yeah. I gotta try that. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So this is uh, the DreamHack series from Steel Series in Sweden. And I'm SSN and Carnum. You're watching StarCraft Inc. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. There are more games to come, so stay tuned.